I thought that was a, a, a very good game for us to play. Stetson uh, plays multiple defenses, and our players had to respond to each one. We were constantly making some changes offensively. But defensively, um, for 38 minutes, I, I thought our defense was very, very good. We got back. We didn't give them a lot of fast break opportunities. We guarded the ball very well. Uh, I thought their big guy did a nice job. We tried to keep it out of his hands, uh, but uh, we fouled him a couple of times going to the basket. He made some good inside shots. And then uh, you know, I was very concerned in the second half. It looked like uh, we couldn't get it going after that first burst where we got ahead uh, by 20, uh, and then, then we kind of had a lull for a while. But then we, we played really, really well. We lost Chris Likes to a sprained ankle. Um, he's being treated right now. Matt Cross twisted an ankle. He's being treated. Isaiah Wong uh, sprained an ankle um, on, in practice two days ago. So he's in the training room being treated after the game. So we've got some bumps and bruises we're going to have to overcome. But overall, uh, especially for 38 minutes, I thought we played an outstanding game. The last two minutes, I told the team to go into a 2-3 zone and try to prevent the three, but that didn't work so good. So we're going to have to work on the zone. We had very long athletic guys out there, but their three-point shooter, especially Johnston, really caught fire in that last two minutes. Thanks, Coach. So we'll start off with questions from Michelle Kaufman from the Miami Herald. Hey, Coach. Uh, congratulations. Um, could you talk a, a little bit more about Chris? Um, the last game he struggled a little to find a shot, and you said you weren't worried at all because he had been practicing so well. Can you talk about the way he played? And also, um, does the ankle injury look serious, or is it something you think that he'll be able to get over by Tuesday? Thank well, you. an ankle injury is always serious to me because a player like Chris relies so heavily on speed and quickness and an ankle injury can, can really slow you down. Um, but he got us off to a great start. He was uh, probably upset with himself for not making those shots in the first game because he had a lot of good looks. So he came out uh, you know, very focused offensively, really working hard defensively. Uh, I love the pressure he's putting on the ball. I just don't want him to gamble and get in foul trouble. Uh, but he had a, a great all-around game until the sprained ankle. Thank you. Next, next, we'll take questions from Wyatt Kopelman. Coach, congrats on the win. It did seem like the team was in desperate need of a field goal, having gone nine minutes without one in the second half. What was your main message to them in the huddle in terms of just regathering themselves and just finding their stroke from the perimeter or down low? Well, as I mentioned, they kept changing their defense. Uh, you know, a 1-1-3 one, one, to a 2-3. Sometimes it looked like a 1-3-1. One, one. They switched and went man-to-man -man a few times. And we were actually still working on our offense. So we didn't stick with one offense. We kept changing ourselves. And sometimes that can mess the players up. But we found a good groove with about, oh, I don't know, eight minutes to go. Uh, we, we went from up like 14 to up almost 30. I, I, what was our, our biggest lead of the game? I Does believe it was... Know? I believe it was about 25 to 28. Yeah, so we I think went it was from 28. Like 28. Yeah, it went, it went from like 14 to 28. We doubled the lead in about a four or five minute period once, once we, we figured out what we wanted to run. Next questions will come from Steve Wine from the Associated Press. Jim, uh, uh, you were plus 30 points with uh, Cross in the game. Talk about his performance before he got hurt. Yeah, he's, he's the kind of guy that probably not going to get a lot of attention in a scouting report, he, but he's so efficient. I thought he did a very good job at the defensive end of the floor. He rebounds, and he can make a shot. That, that, that the two layups that he got, spun one in off the backboard, hit a little baseline jumper, hit a three. Uh, but – 
No, he's he's a very fundamentally sound offensive player. Next, we'll get questions from Chris Stock from the Inside of You. Talked about the de the defense. What what do you attribute that to? Um, being pleased with that. I know it's been a point of emphasis. Are, are there players just really taking account for that, or yeah, what do you attribute it to? Well, we've worked very hard at it. In the in game one, we extended our defense and try to pick up full court. And in reviewing the tape after the game, we realized we we gave uh, North Florida a lot of fast break opportunities because they threw it right up the court and shot. So we worked on just getting back and guarding our own man and our guys took some very serious uh, responsibility. I thought uh, Cam Augusti and Isaiah Wong really did a great job on Rob Perry. And that that's a huge key. He's you know, he's probably going to average 20 points or more a game. And uh, he had zero at the half. We knew he would come out in the second half trying to get it going. But I thought we, we did a very good job with it, whoever matched up on him. Also just Two more questions. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, yep. yeah, just Isaiah Wong, um, what you saw from him tonight that with the 12 rebounds, but the scoring just really attacking right now this week. Yeah, I think he got off to a little slow start offensively, but he really picked it up. Um, his rebounding is, you know, he and Harlan Beverly are both really attacking the glass. Harlan a little bit more uh, at the defensive end and Isaiah a little bit more at the offensive end. So th those things are very valuable. You see, we won the rebound battle, I think, by 20. And our final question for Coach L will come from Wyatt Koppelman. Coach, you guys had only 10 turnovers tonight as opposed to 16 the other night against North Florida. How do you, con how do you envision continuing to improve upon this, especially as you go to the ACC play? Well, um, 18 assists and 10 turnovers is a really good night for us. Uh, we did a much better job of not forcing a shot and finding an open man. Uh, the, the one I, I liked the most probably was Harlan Beverly kicking it out to uh, Cam Augusti in the corner. Cam hadn't made a three, but that, you know, if Harlan takes the shot, you know, he say, I got a layup, I got a layup, I'm inside these guys, but he finds the open man on the outside and that works very, very well for us because the best way you get a three is inside out. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Congrats on the win. Thank you.